Oh. <sighs> Man, I've been wanting to talk about this game for a long time now. This has been your game to play for quite a bit. It just uh, yep, Cult of the Lamb. Devolver hit gold again. It's the first day I picked this up, and I fell in love with it all automatically. Whoa, whoa, whoa. So how would you describe this game? Well, because I know you have to build a following, and I haven't really found the best way to put it into words on what type of game this is. You ever played a game called Act Razor? Yeah. It's half action, half town building. That's almost the perfect description because I know exactly what Act Razor is. That's exactly what this is. <laughs> oh my god, that's but cool. It, but instead of uh, side scrolling action y stuff like Act Razor, it's yeah. basically Binding of Isaac. Correct. I didn't know about that part. So, I'm going to let the game uh, speak for most of it. Let's get going. This is my save I've been doing. I, I'm, I'm, I'm quite good at it, you see. Yeah. Do a new save here. We've got uh, new game options here. We can have permanent death mode and uh, penance mode where you have to actually have to eat and stuff like that. But we'll just go with the ordinary vanilla start. Okay. Let's see what this game is all about. I do remember when this game was Bush announced. Man. The trailer was fabulous. You get big Hollow, hollow Knight vibes. You know, was there any religious stink over this game? Like, do people go nuts as they normally do for something this so close to the devil? If they did, well, I think they need to get alive. Also, it's a lamb. The sacrificial lamb, so to speak. Well, we're gonna die now. Alright, sacrificial lamb, I wasn't kidding. Yep. A game by a massive monster. Look at him. Published by the, the punk kings of the indie world, Devolver Digital. Devolver Digital, can you just continue to be the way you are forever, please? Alright, kill yourself. I don't wanna. In game. D won't you give me some, some help? Ah, right. right. oh, okay. Uh, how about you for. Uh, can you guys help me out? We are the Elder Gods. Okay. I guess I have no choice. I love how that's the first action you get to do in the game, is kneel to be sacrificed. So all the other lambs have been slaughtered to keep the prophecy from being fulfilled. Hmm. And... dead. Short game. Oh, the land of second chances. Purgatory! <laughs> no, we're, no, we're dead. They cut our head off pretty handily. Hello, Elder God. Do you wish to be released? Come closer. Fear not for thee, even though you are already dead! I still have need for you. So the lamb is apparently tied to the one who waits below this guy. And the prophecy states that a lamb would overthrow the four bishops and the old faith. And that's how you win the game, is to kill the four bishops, I assume? Yep. Nice. That's, a, that's our goal. So in, in uh, trying to kill all of us, they landed right to me. So let's start a cult in his name. I don't know, for some reason a lot of this imagery just reminds me of Bill Cipher. One of the crowns is a triangle, so... Cult of the Lamb! <laughs> Hi! Head's back! And now we are brimming with unholy energy! Let's kill him! <laughs> Alright, yeah, go for the hacky slashy! And only one guy, or two guys, put up a fight. So this is how the dungeon crawling segments go, if, this is, if memory serves. Yep, this is how it all works. It's, it's Isaac, but you have a sword instead of tears. And you have a dodge roll from the looks of it? Yep. Okay. 
Uh, how's difficulty compared to Isaac? Because I know Isaac can get pretty fucking hard. Oh, it, you, you can you can change your difficulty however you want. There's our roadmap for our crusade here. Oh. I'm guessing different dungeons have more uh, more floors, I guess. This is Ratao, the previous vessel. So did he fail, or...? He's just old now. Oh, okay. But there's some lore tied to him. Don't need to worry about that. Now, I think the only reason I didn't really jump on this game is because the first time I saw it, I saw a lot of streamers using it, and it does have uh, Twitch integration. You can actually have your chat be your different cult members. Oh, excellent. And I thought that's all it was, was an online game. Well, not so. It's a single-player game. It is. I had no idea. So that's on me. I mean, I still don't know what Lethal Company is, so... <laughs> Lethal Company's fun. Got some One money. measly coin? Are you kidding me? All this death and destruction for one measly coin? So you are... You're a player of roguelikes like this. Which one do you like more? Hades or Cult of the Lamb? Cult of the Lamb. Okay. Without question. Is it a tad easier? Or is it just, like, more fun? Like, you like the cult aspect? So, uh, tedium is one of the themes of Hades, clearly. Cult of the Lamb is about tending to your flock. And I feel like that uh, Hades wants me to play the same game over and 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 over again to get some minor story bits. But for this, it's much more gratifying. So, on your crusades, you can find other lambs to the slaughter, much like yourself, and you can save them if you will rescue them. Is that minion's nose on his neck? Yeah, it's part of the style. Okay. Well, I wasn't going to question anything, even though I clearly questioned it. There are birds that have beaks on their cheeks, but their <laughs> mouths on their face. Rad. Uh, it it kind of works like that. It, it wasn't working on the, on the side there, but... Rescue. Or convert. He's fine. Worry about him later. All right, boss time, I think. Time for the final encounter. Yo, what's up? Final encounter time. Actually, no boss. We get to leave now. Oh. Is there a boss in every dungeon? Yes. Oh, nice. This is just to get us out of the uh, lands of the old faith and into some more neutral territory. How many heretics have you defeated? <laughs> That's what the back of the box says. Oh, I love it. Build your flock. Destroy the non-believers. So you actually, uh, you pulled a fast one on me and you wrapped up the Switch version, but we're actually playing on the PlayStation 5. Because it's the best version. Yeah. Uh, here's your difficulty. It doesn't really matter. Oh, okay. The devs say medium is the best difficulty. Uh, I went easy right at the final boss that you can change anytime you want. So, uh, we'll go with easy just for speed's sake. No shame. There's no changes in difficulty or story or whatever. No one, no one laughs at you or whatever. Alright. Step one. In doctrine. Hello, poor soul. This is the poor soul that we are going to bring into our cult. So we can give him whatever name we want. We'll name him, uh... Seth. Almoron Seth. Almoron Seth. Almoron Seth. Yes. I actually kind of like that name. Ch choose his form. Uh, we unlock more as we go along, as you can see. We got a cow, we got a, a few others. Uh, we'll make him a little pig. So you're saying if I join a cult, I can change what I look like? You can change what they look oh like. Oh my god! We can make him a purple pig. A purple pig with markings on it. Actually, no. With a do like that, I can't go wrong. Sweet. All right, Almoron Seth, let's go. <laughs> Aw, oh, sweet, they got t-shirts! I'll tell him to chop down some stone. And you actually get to tell your minions what to do. Mm -hmm. 
Do they refuse? No. I mean, they can if your faith is low, but uh, they will follow your teachings pretty damn faithfully. Okay. All right, gotta make some food. Time to chop down some trees. So uh, we need uh, five lumber and two stone first. That's why I told my guy to get some stone. So while he's working on that, get some lumber. Man, I really want to play this. I need to get some berries here. Good. Get my own damn stone. The soundtrack's actually sounded pretty good. Oh, yeah. Nice and haunting. Yet a little playful as well. Yeah. Indeed. All right. Got the lumber. Chop down one more tree for good measure. And get a stone. Does this area ever expand, or is this all you get? This is all you get. Okay. That's more than enough, trust me. So now we can build a kitchen, a cooking fire. Let's see. I'll go ahead and slap you right there. Clear out some of this area. You know, I do like games like this. I was real big into uh, the of uh, New Horizons. And... Eventually, you know, I got tired of it, but this might actually keep me going. Also, I'm just a sucker for Devolver Digital, so that probably helps. It's always fun to just kind of pop in. It's like, well, you know, I'm, I'm going through a Red Dead Redemption 2 right now. I'm kind of through with that. I don't want to do like a Dragon Guider right now. I'm going to do a couple of days in Cult of the Lamb, and they'll always be there to accommodate. All right, let's make some food. Make a berry bowl. Cool. Everybody eat. There, cook. <laughs> now we build a shrine. We need more followers and gold. Well, don't you know it's expensive to start up a cult in the name of the Elder Gods? He just called me a wuss? No, he didn't. Now go! So, find gold so we can buy stuff. Find followers so we can recruit them so they can build stuff better and have st work on stuff. These things are Filthy animals, too. You gotta clean up after them for a good long while, too. And they become sick and die, correct? Mm -hmm. There's a sickness? There's a sickness and a hunger. They're pretty easy to take care of, though. It might seem intimidating at first, but uh, it's really, really easy. So, we'll go ahead and hop in back into the lands of the Old Faith. This is where we're gonna go into each of the four bishops' uh, territories and take them all out. First one here is Darkwood. We See, need one follower. I was wondering if you, like, delved into dungeons to find more followers, find more resources, build your cult, and then go to the next one. And this is where we go in for the randomized dungeons? This is where we go. Okay. So what we do is we go in here. This is our first one. It goes uh, Darkwood. And then over here to Anora. We need seven. And then over here to Anchor Deep, which, we, which needs nine. And then, what is it, Silkwood over here? Probably 12. It needs 12. Hey! And then that. for the final boss, we will need 20. So, let's hop into our first crusade. That seems small. Is this game short? They added a whole uh, second end game chapter where you go through the places again and defeat the bishops again. No, oh, only four hits. Only four hits, but again, it is just like Isaac. So, start with the blade, simple sword. I like to chop things up to get a little extra resources here and there. Is there a capacity on the things you can hold? No. Perfect. No capacity, because you're always going to be needing uh, equipment and all kinds of resources to sell and to build and to feed and house and shelter and all that. Have you run into a situation where it you have a task, like right now it says collect gold. Mm -hmm. Has there ever been a time where you go into a dungeon and you don't get what you need? Sure. Okay, so you just go right back in. Just go right back in? Okay. But there's a time element added to it. It hasn't been introduced yet, but it's all about time. You can't just stay in the Crusades all the time because then your followers will get hungry and you, and you need to... Right, yeah, you need to actually, actually get sick. do something about them. Yeah. Clean up their shit and all that. So this, we're gonna have some tarot cards. This is essentially, uh, trinkets and Isaac? Or actual tarot cards. Well, it depends on what the effect is. So these just add bonus effects. 
Oh, uh, they change every crusade. So we can choose one of two. We can have an extra soul heart or have better chest when we clear rooms. Go with that. Oh, uh, yeah, trinkets, pills, pretty much anything you can pick up. Ah, cool. These are all the tarot cards that we've unlocked. We can buy more at certain places on the overworld and unlock more in certain different ways. God, that's a lot. Just a lot to start to start out with, so make sure you don't have the same three cards starting out with. I'm trying to figure out what these monsters are. They just oh. look like giant worms. Oh no. Oh no. They found us! Oh Jesus! Oh hello. Every so often, the bishops will uh, take a room to themselves, keep hold you like this, and like taunt you. And that's it. That's it. Oh. Sometimes they do other things. You know, I can't wait until we can actually fight back. That would just seem so satisfying. Well, that's what we're trying to do here. I mean, we're in his territory. Alright. That's a lot of money. So here's how the dungeons really work. <gasps> oh! They'll be bigger than this, but you can basically choose what where you want to go. What you want, huh? So we can go to a place that has nothing but food, a place that has nothing but stone, a place that has nothing but, uh, but, but wood. And seeing as how uh, food is the most scarce resource right now, let's just get that. We've got plenty of stone and wood to go around right now. So you can either go ahead and pick these individually, or just cut them down. The guy in the house in the background. My berries! Or maybe it would be more demonic. My berries! Is that guy just watching us, or is that a scarecrow? Well, oh, whatever. Alright. Oh, it wasn't a... I thought you were have to fight some things in the in different floors. No, it was literally just... Hey, resources, here you go. This is still an introductory kind of crusade. I'm just here to get more gold and more followers. More money, more bitches, more problems. <laughs> yeah, this is pretty easy. The levels are way more sprawling than this. Aha! Oh. We can change weapons now. This one is a stronger version of our weapon, so yoink! <laughs> oh, I hate to make this comparison, but... Are there weapons that have negative effects a la Returnal? No. Thanks, this is, fucking this is a, god. This is a good game. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. I'm also on easy mode, so if you went on normal mode, you would have only three hearts. And very hard, um, I assume, is just one heart. So you see all these uh, stars and moons and all that? Tarot? That's how you know that it's a tarot card in here. Mm. Gosh, Visual clues. Love to see it. All right, uh, poison or critical hit? Uh, I love poison damage. No poison at all. It's always fun to have in a game like this. Have enemies slowly die before you. Oh, hello. That minion's mine. <laughs> All right, here's our boss. Amducius. Yeah, there's that poison damage working. Easy, simple. And now you're mine. Damn, there's no choice to actually off them if they really pissed you off. Oh, you can do whatever you want. Alright, you get to choose your reward, I assume. Some flower necklace, gold nuggets, or stone. I'm gonna go with the gold nuggets. Just thinking that too, yeah. we get a lot of gold! Alrighty. That was one of four. Defeat four dungeons, and you're Su allowed to fight the boss? Successfully clear this crusade four times! This door will open, and then you can take on the boss. The number of crusades you need to beat changes with each boss, or is it always four? It's always four. Hmm. But you can always go back in after they're done. Oh, okay. Easy. So, all right, we got food, we got money, we got a new uh, follower in our cult. Looking pretty good, I'd say. 
Time for upgrades. Time for upgrades. All right, what now? Okay, good. They're working on their own. You have to do this for every new guy? Yes. Okay. They go here, they say, please spare me. You give them their name and their form and all that. We'll call him Amdu. What's up, Amdu? Uh, you, you look like an abomination, so I'm just going to make you... Uh, yeah, you can be the cow. <laughs> a pink cow. A pink cow, yeah. With a pierced nose. Perfect. Oh, dude, this t-shirt rules! I'll tell you to go chop down some wood. Is it bad so need, but uh, they can either work or worship. But they, they need something to worship with. We need a shrine. We need 30 coins to build a shrine. We have 70. So I was about to say, yeah, you get plenty of money. It only goes here. This is the uh, centerpiece of your cult. Oh, they come to help too. There we go. Praise be. Your followers can now worship you. And they give you another free one just to get you going. Where am I? You're here with me. Alright, what name should we give him? Uh, Great. Great. Then you can choose whatever kind of... Yeah, I was about to say go, go random on everything. Perfect. You look great. Now worship. Tell him to worship. We got a devotion. We, uh, yeah. So, uh, you see that bar up there? Yeah, yeah. They get to, they, they worship and things like that happen. We get one of these and then we fill that bar. We get a divine inspiration, which means that we can now unlock something from this tree of upgrades. Oh. The body pit was one of the first things. Well, you're, well, yeah, they do die. I know. So, we're gonna build our temple. That's the most important thing. It's how we do, we preach sermons and perform rituals and all this other stuff. Beautiful. Now we have to actually build it. We need five stone though, so let me just get some extra stone here. Damn it, I need this game. <laughs> Now I see why it's been on your playlist for a long time. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. There's a lot to enjoy here. I saw your save file at 19 hours. Is that a completed file? Uh, just post-game stuff, basically. Post-game stuff, okay. Like, yeah, they, they added a whole new chapter. It's like, after you beat the final boss, you, you come back and it's like, Oh, hello! Uh, well, do, do it again! Oh. Okay. Ex except harder. Can do, can do. All right. Build a temple somewhere. I usually like to build it over here. So we can clear out some of these bushes. Grab some food, build a temple, mow the lawn, clean up poo. A little bit of everything. And just okay. slam you right there. Bam! And all my workers help me out. God, this is... A I know it's not the same game, but them building just gives me Age of Empires vibes. This reminds me of a game I used to play called Happy Street. Why does that sound familiar? It was a mobile game uh, that was, you know, cute little animals uh, making, yeah, yeah. making a street. It was basically Animal Crossing for mobile before they made Animal Crossing for mobile. Huh. That was, that was basically all you had. So now we can go into the temple, we can actually host sermons. Basically, uh, everybody, everybody come in here and you say, well, how great I am, I am, I am cool and powerful, and you should give me money and your, your eternal admiration and all that. Your mortal soul. So whenever you fill up that bar, a whole new tree of upgrades show up. Oh, damn. So now we permanently have half a heart added to our health. That is lovely. Love and admiration. And then increases your faith, too, to make sure that the people keep doing what you tell them to. Now get back to work! Especially you, Almiron Seth. Doctrines. Seek out commandments, stone fragments, and you'll be able to declare new doctrines. 
And now the time has been set. Uh, where at? Top right. Oh, top right. There we go. Now we can go and journey back into the land... The... The uh, lands between. That's the lands between. <laughs> the lands of the old faith. We go for our second run into Darkwood. Now I think it's going to be, like, official. Now they're done messing around. It's it's like how it's going to be for the rest for the rest of the game now. Now what does time denote? Uh, besides time. Like, what, what does a day passing do for your productivity? There are certain things that uh, restart after a day. Uh, your... Uh, your cultists will actually grow old and die. Okay. So you need to keep constantly getting new ones. Now we're giving a crown ability. What does that mean? Well... Just shooting corpses. Holy shit. A sub weapon! Yeah, that's awesome. Those red dots are now fervor. fervor. So that uh, sub weapon is actually called a curse. Good name, good name. Use fervor to build up curses. There's plenty of curses. It's all good stuff. I thought you were about to say plenty of curses to go around. Self-explanatory, I'd say. Not a big fan of the axe, but uh, the hammer is worse. The axe is powerful, but it's very slow. And the hammer is stupid powerful, but also stupid, stupid slow. slow. So, do you have a go-to weapon? Like, as soon as you see it, you're like, hell yes? I don't have any go-to weapons, but I have uh, go-away weapons. <laughs> like, if I see a hammer, I'm like, alright, this is, this is a dud. Goodbye, hammer. I mean, it's not unusable, but it's just... You know, you, you go to strike something, and the enemy's already gone by the time it hits the ground. Alright, will you stop intimidating me? I smell your fear. Maybe you're the one who's unworthy, you big meaty poopy head! No, you smell! I just hit that projectile back at him, by the way. That's great. I love that that's a thing. You can have... So many different types of skill runs with that. Oh my god. The possibilities. So yeah, there's a lot to this. I see I am now intrigued. it's getting a bit more uh get more a bit yeah. more complicated now. It's got a store. So we got a store over here. Which leads us to another uh, encounter. But I think we're just gonna get stone here so we can get another follower. Oh my god! Early on, resources go quick, so it's good to to get it, what you can. Especially grass. It's good to get grass. Grass being a finite resource is... Huh. Grass not only is, is used to make decorations in certain buildings, but it can also be used to make, uh, make food. This follower, either he... He you, might or might not come with us. He is possessed. We need to see if we can ease his mind. It's either or. Join me. <laughs> Thanks. See, it's 50-50 because he's like, huh, you just sell like the rest. You're not for me. But it worked out. So, all right, we got a new follower that we can indoctrinate and aid and aid. Cool. Time to kill a boss. Hopefully. We got to get there first. For a little bit of devotion, you can uh, break this. I love that. So we can, yeah, it's something when we come back, but it'll always set itself back up. And you can't farm devotion that way. I was wondering about that. Pick a card, any card. This is the mysterious Haro. Alas, tis the nature of beasts to forget, and to gods to be forgotten. So, and we have Commandment Stone Fragments. Usually you get them from completing quests for, uh, for, uh, your followers and clearing crusades, but this one they're, they're gonna give us for free. So when we go back to our, uh, to our temple, we can now declare a doctrine. 
making some commandments. Unlock new rituals and new uh, t uh, statements on what on how to live your life as a cult. Write a book saying how you should live your life as a cult. Ooh. Upgrade the flaming shot. That's good. Oh, I thought that was a whole new curse. And that guy stood no chance. Holy cow. Tarot cards. Yo, what's up? Do these only last while in the dungeon? When you leave the dungeon, either by death or escape or or winning, they go away. Okay. And you have to get new cards. Valifar! Hi, Hellspawn. Oh. Oh, he hurts. Yeah, he does, but I hurt more. See? Easy. Way more. What the hell happened? Come with me, all will be good. <laughs> Color schemes in this game, too. Really good. Lumba? Alright, blueprint! Yes. A farm plot sign! When we, when we get to making food, we can deter determine uh, what kind of crops go here. That's one third of a commandment stone. Do you get one every single time you beat a place? Yes. You will, you will run out, though, because there are only so many doctrines that you can right, be right. a player. But then you get other perks, like more golden shit. Me likey. Every so often he'll come back and say, Good job, very good. Thanks, God. <sighs> so obviously when you die, he'll be like, Oh, no big deal, you're good, and then just bump you back to your cult. I kind of like that. She's like, hey, I chose you for a reason. I don't have buyer's remorse. Get back out there and show them what for. Well, if you die too often, your cult will stop believing in you. And then they won't do what you say. Ooh, this color palette. Ooh. Because it's night. Beautiful. So now we can make a bedroll. Make sure your people have a place to sleep. It'd be very good for them. Takes quite a bit to make it though. Let's see, we got five people now. Here, you put them over here. So... Oh, you have to do it for every single person. One, two, three. And one for you. Four. See, they're just they're just over here. Devotion. Hey, wake up, guys. I got you a bed. Yep, and as soon as I make it, they're oh, like, yeah, Oh yeah, he actually woke up and went, hey, bed! Because it because they get assigned to it. Now is this for you? Nope. The two new ones that I uh, that I got on the crusade. So there's no time to sleep when being a cult leader. Is what you I'm do, hearing. You do not need to sleep. Not in this uh, game mode. Okay. Oh, not in this mode. Hmm. Got one more. And then we'll indoctrinate our two new fellas. Hey, bud. <sighs> Okay, I want you to do, like, rapid fire for name and also for, uh, variant. Najul? Lovely. You look great. Yeah. The Mauve Mule. <laughs> and then this guy. For Valifar. Uh, hey, Valifar. What I guess. for special ones? I go, it's like, your, your name is Vale. That's a good name. And your form. Uh, well, that's almost like his original one. Sure. You got traits, of course, as well, a la Rogue Legacy. Materialistic, uh, skeptic, and... <laughs> Don't look too hard at <laughs> I know there are some, uh, some Have animals you... that love to eat shit. Have you worshipped too? Uh, can I build one more? No, I can't. Okay. I would like to have one more. Just because, so when I get a new follower, they have a place to sleep. They'll be right there when I need them. Take a bit of a loading to get the next day. There we go. I was wondering what happened. So now everybody wakes up feeling rested, all good like that, and they go to pray and do their own jobs until I tell them to come to hell in here. Speaking of which, everybody, come to hell in here. Do a sermon because there's more followers, I get more of a boost. 
Now we can unlock either uh, Bane Weapons or Curse the Whore. Let's get some more curses up in here. Absolutely. Perfect. No more skill trees. Two, three more days of sermons will uh, get that up again. Now for the crown, where we can declare our doctrine. Oh, I didn't even see what you selected. So we can declare a new, uh, a new ritual, the bonfire ritual. You have, more, you have more select the more you get, but this is just a freebie, of course. Dance around the bonfire, build more faith. We need wood and bone. And we have not enough wood and not enough bone. Well, after the new update that uh, Cult of the Lamb comes out with, there will be plenty of boning everywhere. <laughs> The enemies we kill, we get bones. We can use the bones we can use for rituals, or we can sell them. Okay, so now you get into a rhythm. Go Now yep. that you've unlocked this, now you can go back into the dungeon, get more stuff, continue. Essentially, that's what we're looking at. All right. Let's go back one more time. One more ritual. One, one, one more crusade. That's how the, the the routine normally goes. Yep. Now now it's looking how it normally does. You get you start you start with a weapon. You start with a curse. And now you're good to go. Are those optional? You have to get those. You can't you can't go in with the. Let me do a no weapon run. Yeah, not allowed. Sorry. Okay, looking for bones. That's what, we're, that's what we're looking for here. Okay, unless she's gonna yell at us some more. Hey, buddy. Oh, wait. And he brought her for her sisters, too. <laughs> like, guys, the prophecy. It's happening, guys. The prophecy. Shit. Ugh. Anyway, time to take down the older gods. Throw a bunch of enemies my way and a whole bunch of corpses here, so I'm sure that I get enough bones. Also, if you happen to die on your quest, uh, you don't keep everything that you've gained, but you don't like th the game takes like a fraction. Like, up, oh, you lost. I'm just gonna take some of the, some off the top if that's okay. Attack rate decreased by 1.25, so we can attack faster now. Very nice, very nice. Keep things moving! I'm gonna start introducing some turrets. Now the game is looking how it normally does. More foliage, more things to break, more bones to crush. The only thing we're missing is like a couple of things like side characters and uh, relics, which I assume are kind of like the special items in Isaac. Flower art! Decorations! Have you collected everything? Not everything. A good amount of everything, though. Because there's so much stuff in a lot of places. Okay, where are we going for here? Alright, I'm just gonna go the fastest way here for time. So, food place. Probably berry bushes, yep. Each of the areas has their own special food item that you can harvest. I'm guessing different foods have different effects or different hunger variants. So berry bushes, you use six of them, you make a tiny, measly dish that won't feed a lot of people. The, the last one, cauliflower, you get five of those and you can get you feed them pretty damn good. Hmm. This is how we can buy uh, tarot cards, but uh, we don't really need them right now. Choose, we'll choose a follower for them. The chicken! Again, with the beak on its side and the mouth on its... <laughs> it looks so the weird. weird. It looks so weird! Don't worry about it, especially knowing that we have like fish people who live on land just fish. fine. Sharks, whales, all that. Alright, who are we gonna... If we're gonna save anybody or try and convert them? It's a rescue mission! What's up? Die, 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 die. 
Okay. Don't worry, I'll save you. Don't. Just because I'm cutting these people to pieces doesn't mean that'll happen to you. Trust me, I am the good guy here. Now join me. By force. That means I need to make another bed, goddammit. All right. Give me the faith. Give me all the faith. Maybe I can do something when I get back. Cause you gotta have faith. You gotta have faith. You gotta have faith. You gotta have lands. You gotta have curse. You gotta have holy lands and unholy weaponry. Oh wow. Do, do, do. I don't like either of them, so I will not partake. But here is where we can get weapons. Hi. Are these all birds? I don't think that's a bird. Because I noticed they got the long beaks. They look like feathers. Alright, this is basically uh, choose a weapon. I'm gonna go with uh, this curse though. Alright, let's move. I'm getting new varieties of monsters too. And are those bombs? Yep. Oh. Disarmed when everything's safe though, thankfully. Can you trick enemies into blowing themselves up? I don't think so. Barbatos! Oh dear. This guy might be a little tough, but that's okay. I'm a little tough. Ow. Oop. So close. There, there we, go. we go. Oh, you're a nasty little thing, aren't you? Yeah, half your head is missing. Uh, Crazy axolotls. Yeah, I gotta build two more fucking. Alright, stone. Uh, probably stone. Again, resources are scarce this time around. Commandment stone, second part. Alright. Back to the cult. If we were to come back here a fourth time, that door would open and we would take on Leshy. Perfect! They are to use for you to your advantage. Their faith is a resource, spend it as you would gold. You can do whatever you want to them. Push them all into the body pit. At the beginning of the year when they add that thing, they can do, they can do whatever, whatever they want! They want. Yeah. <laughs> this is basically, you can, you know, what does your follower think of you? Oh, great, you need to gauge what they think of you. Like, if, if they're upset about something, you can see why. If, they, if they're feeling a bit, a bit, a bit, uh, hank angry about something, you can, you can find out why. Can't you just smite them after a certain point? I don't think they'd like that. Like, the, uh, the other, uh, followers wouldn't care for that, I don't think. Look, they had it coming, okay? Alright, now we can go with... Uh, both more. Plant some seeds! Get some food going. Didn't you show me a clip? It might have been on the Switch version where you basically glitched yourself into an infinite church. Yeah, I, I went into the church and I, uh, I, I think I talked with a, uh, a follower at, at the exact wrong time. And so, and so you're just running through infinite void, just going, guys, I've got a sermon. Oh, Guys! Look. Oh look, they're all tied. Got a sir okay. So I gotta build another, uh... Yeah, I gotta build another one of these things. Boop. Maybe another one. No rest for the wicked. But I'm not wicked! Hee <laughs> hee. No rest for the spiteful. All right, we'll do this uh, ritual in the morning, and then we'll call it a day. There you go, Inagri. You look terrible. 
It's got like the maw of a sandworm with the head of an axolotl. <sighs> Artie! That looks like an Artie. Welcome to the cult, friend. Perfect. See, I always find the night time to be the best place to like, you know, build decorations. Like if I want to actually build that, uh... Build that, uh, flower arch. I can, I can do that in the middle of the night. Surprisingly oh. peaceful game for yeah. making unholy sacrifices. It's, a, it's, a, it's about the parts in between, you know? Good job, Devolver. Actually, no. Massive no. monster. Massive monster, excuse good, me. Good job, Devolver, for seeing the potential in them. Yes, thank you. You see a lot of potential in a lot of very weird games, and I'd like you to keep that up. I'm glad this game took off. I'm glad it's I'm glad it's doing well. Couldn't be happier. Alright, it's morning now. <laughs> Wait for it! Alright. So, they can sometimes give you quests. Ah, yes, we're going to name our cult now. I'm just going to use the same name I used for my other cults, and, and uh, this, this is mine. Uh, no, one's, uh, no one's supposed to use these, but uh, here we go. Uh, a special one for this one. Oop. I hate you. There you go. The you oyster cult. So interact. Oh wait, not that. Read the mind. It's like I'm so happy that the leader did the quest. They're so happy now. I had a good conversation with another cult member. It's great. All right, ritual time. The sermon though to get the faith up. Everybody join me for some faith. Now let's have a, 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 a little ritual, a little ceremony. Ritual fire. I still don't have enough. Not fucking enough wood. wood. All right, I'll chop down a tree or something. That's gonna take too long. Well, whatever. At least we named it. So, like, you you, you get it, right? Yes. Cult of the Lamb. Great game. Go buy it. Go play it. Have fun. I think it's only like twenty bucks. Like thirty-five. Oh. A little you, more expensive than I thought. If, if, if you buy the physical copy, at least. But you know you want to. Right then. So. Bonfire. Bonfire. Bonfire here, and then just like that. So while that's going on, I trust me about my gift there, huh? Absolutely. Now, I have one request. Be very careful with it. Careful with it. Oh, it's very, it's very delicate. Oh, geez, what is this? It's heavy. Yep. It's a gold-plated, uh, it's it's a CD, isn't it? Be oh. very careful with it. All right, so I will be careful with it. Oh, you guys are pretty good. <laughs> Get out of here, guys. Okay. Uh, 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 just get, get out of here. Hi! Oh. <laughs> Seriously? Yep. But we did this. Not that one. We we, not we literally that did this. Not the exact one. I thought this had two. There's a reason we're playing this one. So there's three versions of this. Okay. Okay. All right. Let's do it. Sounds fine to me. Oh, yeah, there, there's a map screen too. Where you can go to other places and do more do places, things, more things. It's, it's just too much stuff to do in one day. So maybe it'll be a series one day. Who knows? Who knows? The cult ever grows. The cult is calling, and uh, yeah, can't wait to see more. So we'll see you tomorrow for uh, Niskel's game, and then you'll be back here for something really special. See you then.